Today, I am here to tell you five things that I hate about my CBR 500R. Now, to say hate is a very strong word, uh, and I don't hate the CBR 500R. I don't even really hate these five things, but uh, if we're going to compare like to hate or love to hate, uh, you know that's kind of what you you have to uh, you have to say you have to go with. So uh, again, hate being strong. Let's just say the five things that I don't like about my CBR 500R. But that's not a deal breaker for me. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's get started. Number one, no center stand. This bike did not come with a center stand and there's not even a center stand available for it. Uh, and I understand that Honda is hitting a price point for the base bike, but Honda should at least make an, this an option for a center stand. This is very handy, a center stand is when it comes to working on a bike. Number two, the removal of the plastic fairings. The design of the removal of the plastic fairings isn't very intuitive. There are too many quote unquote hidden elements to account for when trying to remove this plastic fairing. Now on the bright side, once you've done it three or four or five times, it's much easier and you will remember all the hidden areas uh, of fasteners or elements that uh, click together that you, uh, you need to uh, make sure you, uh, you know, take care of when you're trying to remove uh, the fairing. Uh, and you know, the fairing is connected underneath the left side to the right side. And that's probably the biggest uh, issue uh, for me anyway. Uh, but then just the way that they've designed how it slips in on each side, um, again, it's not very intuitive, but once you learn it, it'll be all right. Uh, number three, the oil filter placement. The oil filter placement on this bike is horrendous. Now, with that said, it's at the very front of the engine, so you would think it's very accessible. But the problem is that the header pipes are too close to the filter. So unless you are only using your hand to take the filter off and put the filter on, you can't get the oil filter tool removal or you know th that tool to put it on, the wrench to put it on or take it off. You can't get that in there very easily uh, because you know usually it has to have a, a, a you know a, um, a socket wrench to attach to it, to the oil filter wrench uh, to take it off or put it on. And there's hardly any way you are ever going to get the thing torqued down to a correct spec because you're not going to be able to get a torque wrench in there uh, just because that header pipe is way too close to the filter. Now, I, so I haven't torqued my uh, filter down, but I've just gotten it as, as tight as uh, I think I need it to be. And, you know, I start up the bike and there has been no leaks. So, you know, that hasn't been in, an issue as far as any leaks or anything, but you're not going to get the thing torqued um, correctly. Uh, you're just going to have to do the best you can. Uh, number four, there's no rear fender. And again, I'm sure this is a cost savings measure, uh, but some sort of stock rear fender should have been included and the what quote unquote that the I guess they say that the rear fender is uh, is where the um, you know license plate attaches to that's not really a rear fender it's just much more of a tailpiece and that doesn't keep any you know uh, rain wash or mud wash uh, up 
from getting up onto the, the back of the bike. Uh, the tailpiece is rather ugly, but I've learned to deal with it. Uh, I did, when I first purchased this bike, I did purchase a tail tidy for this bike uh, from Vagabond Motorsports. And I will say they have a very excellent uh, tail tidy. Vagabond Motorsports, if you're looking for a tail tidy, excellent one. But, and I had it put on and it looked great. But, when I went to install the um, rack, my rear rack, it takes a couple, um, you know, pieces on the side uh, that attach to the foot peg and then also, you know, go back to the rack back there. Well, when you put those pieces on, that interfered with the positioning of the blinkers with that Vagabond uh, tail tidy and it, would, it just wouldn't fit. You know, it was either one or the other. So basically I had to take the Vagabond Sports tail tidy off, put the regular tail piece, the stock tail piece back on in order to put my, uh, my supports uh, for my rack on. And so that's what I'm living with. And it's okay. Uh, it, it doesn't look great, you know, the, 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 stock tail, the stock tail piece, but it is what it is. And in order to have that rack uh, to be able to put luggage on and travel with, uh, it's worth it for me. All right, number five, uh, accessory, no accessory options. Uh, this kind of goes, goes back to the center stand. So I will include the center stand as an accessory option. So there's no center stand accessory option. Uh, there is no option for heated grips from the factory. You can, you can buy heated grips from Honda and put them on, or you can buy aftermarket heated grips, which I've done. Uh, but there's not an option that you can say to a Honda dealer, hey, I want you to um, you know, get me this bike with heated grips on it. They don't do it. Uh, there's no USB charging port. Hey, this is 20. This is a 2021 bike. Hey, Honda, it's now 2022. Put a damn at least one USB charging point port on this bike. It's needed. I've put one on myself, uh, but I shouldn't have had to because Honda should have thought about that. And then the toolkit that comes with this bike is laughable because it's not a toolkit at all. A fuse puller and a uh, Allen wrench is not a fucking toolkit Honda. You need to do better than that. I know, again, you're hitting a price point. Now, I've, and I've assembled my own toolkit, but the point is, you, Honda, you should be giving more than just an Allen wrench and a fuse puller as your toolkit, because that is bullshit. Now, bonus for the things that I don't like about this bike, there are limited options for luggage. Now, I have went with uh, SW Motec, and they make a lot of luggage that'll fit this bike. They make a whole luggage system for this bike. Top box, side panniers, uh, you know, the side rails that the panniers attach to, uh, this this rack back here, the street rack, uh, is the uh, base of the rack that the uh, the top box would attach to. So they make really good products, number one, and they make products for this bike. So uh, that's what I went with, but that's about the only option. GB doesn't make anything for at least for 2021 and probably 2022. Um, uh, I don't think Shad makes anything that's going to attach. I mean, you know, you can fashion up a, uh, a top box mount some way on the back there, but, um, you know, you got to get some sort of rack like this first before you can even think about putting uh, a top box on. Uh, and that's uh, basically the top five and a bonus point or two of things that I hate slash don't like about this CBR 500R. Keep the shiny side up and we'll see you soon.